Hey, what's going on guys? This is Logical bringing you FPS Weekly number 29. Today we got, uh, uh, what, six? We got six. Count them, six. We got six news stories to be talking about today. And we're just gonna go on right into this and get started talking about them. So first off, Bioshock the Collection. Is it a thing? May it be a thing? Possibly. No one really knows. But basically, the article that I'm referring to, which is posted down in the description, because it's always posted down in the description, all the articles are always in the description! Uh, references the possibility that there might be a Bioshock collection, which would be pretty dope and awesome. I would like to see a Bioshock collection. Uh, obviously this is a bit more relevant for people that are playing on consoles instead of PCs, because, you know... Bioshock and Bioshock 2 and Bioshock Infinite, even though they're all good games, they're not exactly the most graphically competitive on the PS3 or Xbox 360. And having all three of those games on the PS4 and Xbox One would be a truly terrific idea. So, yes, Bioshock Collection, is it a thing? Maybe, we just don't know yet. The Rainbow Six, Rainbow Six Siege is apparently getting an update so that its matchmaking is going to be fair, whatever that means. Fair matchmaking is kind of an ambiguous term. Does it mean that uh, the good players are only going to have good players on their team and then they're going to have potatoes on the enemy team so that they can wreck and then the potatoes will cry and feel bad? Or does it mean that the good players will be matched up with entirely good players, which is unlikely considering that probably does not constitute a majority of the player base? How will this problem be solved? I frankly have no idea. So that is a problem for, uh, um, uh, the company that develops Rainbow Six Siege, I've forgotten their name. Don't worry about it, don't really care about it, but yes, apparently Rainbow Six Siege is supposed to be getting fair matchmaking. Joyous! Doom is going to have a multiplayer system uh, and feature similar to burn cards from Titanfall, for those of you that don't remember uh, or forgotten. Titanfall had this system called burn cards where, like these one-time use things that would let you have higher damage for a particular weapon, you'd move a little bit faster. Basically it was like a temporary perk that lasted for one life. And yes, that is what the burn cards were. And apparently, Doom is going to operate on the same system. So that's pretty cool, that's interesting. And uh, yeah, that's a thing apparently. Imitation is the best form of flattery, or so they say. I just hope that the Doom multiplayer doesn't uh, crash and burn uh, like Titanfall did. Even though Titanfall was actually a pretty good game, it was pretty fun, even though I didn't get to play it that often. It was a fun game and I liked it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully Doom works out a little bit better. And then hopefully Titanfall 2 also works out a little bit better. So let's keep that in mind and hope for the best in that regard. Alright, and then next up is CSGO. Yes, CSGO Majors are now all going to have a prize pool of one million dollars. Yes, you heard me right, one million dollars. So basically what's going to be happening with CSGO is that in all the Majors now, the prize pool is going to be one million dollars. So the third person in first place is going to get like 500,000 or something, and then the person in second place is going to get 250,000, and so on and so forth, and that's just like break it down, break it down in the article. You should read it, check it out if you're concerned or interested in Counter-Strike Go. Uh, Alright, next two things, final two things. Battlefront gets an update. Cool, I guess. Is it an update that changes everything to be a hitscan weapon instead of projectile physics? No, it isn't. So, I don't care about this. Is it an update that... Uh, ups the speed of the projectile so that they are not moving like fucking turtles shot from guns. No? Okay. I don't really care about it then either. You know, just, uh... Not really the best thing ever. Possibly. Just that it's gotten an update. Apparently the battle of, the, of Jakku game mode in Jakku is a map. And it's maps... plural? I don't know. Uh, have all been integrated into the game, so it honestly didn't even fucking matter if you pre-order the game in the first place, or, or whatever, uh, to get the Battle of Jakku. Whatever, just, you know, everyone has it now. So, yay! It's all part of the, part of the update. The update of updatingness and importantness. Because, reasons. And finally, for our last news story of the week, if you are interested in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, but for some reason you have not picked it up and played it, then it is, now's your time and opportunity and uh, your chance to, to hop on it and have some fun. Because Black Ops 3, the multiplayer at least, is free for the weekend. 
It is free until 1 p.m. on Sunday. So if you have a Steam account, which you should, and your computer's not a, not a smoking pile of shit, then you should go ahead and download it. Have some fun with it. See if you enjoy it. I personally do, even though it pisses me off a lot. Um, due to certain things that are bullshitty and just happen and are quite frustrating and irritating. It's still a good game, and I still like it. So, and that's saying something, considering that I absolutely detested Advanced Warfare. Multiplayer, at least. The campaign was pretty good. But the multiplayer, you know, just kind of was sucked. It just sucked ass, pretty much, essentially. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you're interested in Black Ops 3, go ahead and pick it up and uh, play it for the weekend. That should give you a um, give you a perspective on to whether or not you actually want to get the full game or whatever. So, there you go. Make use of information and do stuff. This is Logical, and I will see you guys next week.